Many commuters say COVID-19 isn't halting their routines. I have to work, to come to work every day. Yes, yeah, so I'm not scared of anything. I'm not touching anything in the train, but I think it's safe. According to MTA, people take an estimated 8.5 million trips via mass transit daily. I got to get to work. Transit officials say over 4,000 subway cars, 5,300 buses, nearly 1,400 Long Island Railroad cars, and over 1,100 Metro North cars have all been cleaned, disinfected, and frequently touched surfaces are sanitized every day. MTA Chairman Patrick Foy says trains are running at capacity with a new situation room to handle operations. The situation room gives us a conduit to rapidly share information with decision makers and staff on every level. It's connected with all our agencies and facilitates routine meetings among MTA leadership. Mayor Bill de Blasio also addressed commuters Monday, urging those with compromised immune systems to avoid transit. If you're feeling sick, stay away from mass transit because we don't want you spreading it to other people. We want everyone to get through this. MTA officials say if you can, try alternative travel means like telecommuting. If you can bike or walk to work, which uh, obviously uh, there are limits, uh, limits to that, uh, you ought to do that. If you can travel in the shoulder periods a little earlier, a little later in the morning, a little earlier in the evening, a little uh, later in the evening when there's less crowding, uh, do that. So certainly those are some alternative ways of travel, but as you can see here tonight, busy rush hour time at Grand Central. People are still using that traditional form of commuting to and from the trains here at Grand Central. Now the MTA is in constant communication with the city and with the state, as well as following CDC guidelines to make sure commuters and tourists from around the world are safe right here in Manhattan.